Hey everybody, Aaron Stauffer, Man Meat Barbecue. Uh, here in our kitchen, trapped, quarantined, we're stuck, it's COVID-19. Uh, we're gonna try a little something different. We're gonna take a series and we're gonna do a, a segment called, Can You Smoke That? Uh, and so we're gonna start off with something that might be a little bit, um, not too far outside the box, but but we want to we want to uh, get your comments, get your questions, get your ideas on what you think. Hey, maybe can can you smoke that? It's got to be food related. Um, we're gonna have some winners. We're gonna probably have some losers, but we're gonna see if we can't have a little bit of fun while we're stuck here, trapped in uh, home lockdown. So first first things first. Tonight we're gonna do a little little chicken. We're going to do a little turkey, uh, we're going to have some Brussels sprouts, and the item that we have tonight that is, can you smoke that, is cauliflower. We're going to see if we can't smoke a cauliflower, turn it into a whipped cauliflower with some cream cheese, kind of like a mashed potato, um, and see if we can impart some smoke that can come through in that potato. Um, and we're also going to be cooking everything tonight on either a Gateway Drum Smoker or our, our GMG Davy Crockett. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to have some distraction. We're going to have a two-year-old run around as we do this. But um, Mini meat, we're working. Yeah, as you as you want to um, as you like these series and these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the button, the bell down below. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, we are a little bit on Twitter, but uh, uh, we'll be posting these on YouTube and going, going forward. So first thing I'm going to do, I've got, I've got a head of cauliflower, I've already got it washed, um, got all of the leaves taken off, and first thing I'm going to do is, is put a little bit of a garlic butter on it. Uh, so I grated, grated some garlic in a grater grating plate, uh, melted a little butter, and we're just gonna we're just gonna base this. Might be easier just to pour it on. We just want to get a little bit of fat, a little juice, a little moisture on the cauliflower uh, as we season up. The garlic in the butter is gonna help give some flavor, and later when we turn this into a a whipped cauliflower, hopefully we'll still get some of that garlic garlic flavor in there. Uh, and then from there. Just going to add a little bit of salt. You can do just some fresh cracked sea salt um, if you wish, uh, or and as well as some, some pepper. So we want to keep this pretty simple. Um, it doesn't just because you put something on the smoker doesn't mean it has to be a barbecue flavor. So we want to create some traditional flavors, but just we want to use the smoker and see if we can't put a little bit of flavor in it. The cauliflower we're, we're thinking is going to take probably 45 minutes or so. This is a pretty big one. It might might take a little longer than that as well. All right, so cauliflower is going to go on the GMG. I'm running some lumberjack 100% apple pellets. Um, been using lumberjack. Really like like that pellet. It seems to be a pretty good uh, pretty good flavor. Not not a lot of filler in the pellets. Um, so. They seem to have treated us pretty well. But the uh, temp, I'm trying to get the temp up to 425. We're falling a little bit. But um, we're going to get that on there. Let that go. Uh, what time do we have? We have right at 6 o'clock. So we're going to let that go 45 minutes and we'll give it a shot, see what it looks like. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and base this cauliflower with a little bit more of that butter. So we're already getting some good color on this. We'll just hit, hit this. We'll do that. We're gonna hit the hit that cauliflower with butter uh, probably every 15 minutes just to keep it basted, keep keep some moisture and fat and flavor 
going into that cauliflower. So uh, we'll be back here in a little bit. Hey guys, Aaron again. We're, we're here, got the cauliflower off. It actually took a little longer than I thought. We're about an hour and five minutes. Uh, we got, as you can see, got some pretty good color on it. That's a lot from the butter that we kept basting uh, every 15, 20 minutes uh, throughout that process. Try to keep some moisture in it. Uh, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the core out, we're gonna chop it up, we're gonna get it in our Food Ninja, we're gonna add some um, softened cream cheese and, and about three tablespoons of butter we also have some fresh chives growing outside, so we went ahead and grabbed some of those, chopped them up, and we're going to throw that all together. Really what we're doing is we're trying to make a, a mashed potato substitute. Um, but let's go ahead and get this core out of here. So this is piping hot. Um, can get a little bit more of this out of there. So really what you'd like to see is that this fall apart pretty easily. Um, so this is, this is coming a, apart. I was a little concerned that it wasn't quite there yet, but um, as I'm pulling this apart, definitely I, I feel like, like it's softened enough um, to be able to get this as a mashed or a whipped cauliflower. All right, we're just gonna toss it in the the ninja. See if we can't get it down in here. May have to run run it a couple different times just to get get this to settle down. Uh, but as you can see, that there's quite a bit of color color on that cauliflower. I can smell the smoke from it, so I know it's it's got got plenty of smoke flavor. We'll see. Uh, I expect the the cream cheese and butter uh, to calm calm that smoke flavor down a little bit. But um, let's see if I can see how this this food processor works. You might want to put a towel on if you're doing anything hot um, in here. It will it will. <laughs> it'll it'll expand on you. Uh, I don't know if you've ever taken a a milk, empty milk carton and rinsed it out with hot water and when you shook it up it, uh, it wants to build some pressure inside. So we got plenty of space in there. I want to go ahead and add our softened cream cheese and butter and chives. Get that put in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of, of chicken broth in. This is just going to create a little bit of liquid. You could use some cream or some milk. Uh, I want to keep, uh, I've already got a bunch of cream cheese and some, some real butter. So I'm going to try to cut down some of the calories by putting a little bit of chicken stock. Don't want to put too much in to start. We can always add it. You can't take it out once it's in. So we'll get this going again. I'm trying to get this to, to settle down in there. I may need to grab a spoon. Um, see if my knife will push some of this down there. The adventures in learning about what's going on. Uh, probably add a little bit more of the chicken stock uh, and broth just to get get that loosened up. But let's see if we can get this to, to work. Out. I still see a few spots uh, here on top. Might need a little bit more, uh, a little more chicken stock. Again, add it a little at a time. Get this going here. So let's see what we got. Let me grab a. Grab a fork. It's always good to taste as you go. See if you got what you're looking for. Could definitely use a little, little salt, not a lot, but um, you know, definitely, it's one of those things that as we go through this, 
You're just wanting to build some flavors. Probably add a little bit more, um, a little bit more chicken chicken broth, and a little bit of Elmo music video in the background. So uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to keep a two-year-old happy. That's pretty good right there. Uh, there's still a little bit of texture from the cauliflower. Um, could probably use a little bit more salt. Uh, cracked a little bit of pepper in it as well. You can definitely get some of that smokiness that we put on it from uh, the smoker. It's still there. It's not overpowering at all. Um, in fact, I mean, uh, we could we could put some other herbs or other other seasonings in it and it's gonna it's gonna do well but uh, I would say so far uh, this can you smoke that cauliflower version we, we've got a winner all right guys here we are we got everything ready we're ready to eat our dinner uh, we got our Brussels sprouts that again cooked on the gateway put a little smoke on those we've got our whipped cauliflower uh, we got our wings let's go ahead and and divvy this up, give it served up. Now the the, uh, the Brussels sprouts took probably 25, 30 minutes on the on the smoker, uh, running the drum about 300, and and so you know it, it, they got done a little faster than I thought they would. Which again, no big deal. We threw them in the oven, put the warmer on. Uh, the cauliflower took longer than we thought. Um, and again, just it was probably ran just a little over an hour to get the cauliflower done to a point that we liked. And we do see that one thing to notice the cauliflower has got a little bit of a, a color to it. Uh, so, you know, and these are basically a, a great substitute to mashed potatoes, uh, lower your carbs. Um, uh, a lot of a lot of keto uh, dieters use cauliflower as a great substitute. Got some great color on these wings using that heavy smoke uh, rub. We used the white label on these chicken wings, and we hit it with a little bit of uh, the man meat sweet and smoky sauce. We're running a little test here today uh, just to see if we've got our our batches right. But let's put a couple of each of those on both of these. Uh, our sample color wise look look pretty much the same so uh, I'm gonna get a couple of these on here as well but now now here comes the moment of truth so um, let's go ahead and, and taste the, the Brussels sprouts see what sort of, of flavor we got from using the smoker uh, on that. Got that little bit of a crunch out of the Brussels sprout, so we got them cooked nicely. A little bit of salt, a little pepper, nothing too fancy on that. The smoke does come through. Uh, could probably use some bacon or, or, or something there to help, help balance that flavor out a little bit. Uh, still good. Not, not what I was hoping for in the Brussels sprout uh, on the smoker. Probably just need a few more ingredients to bring bring that and balance it out. Uh, now, for what we thought, um, finish seasoning up the cauliflower. The cauliflower is is fantastic. Uh, that smokiness using those apple apple uh, uh, pellets. Really a subtle smoke, uh, very mild, uh, great flavor. Cream cheese just kind of kind of makes that cauliflower uh, smooth, helps uh, soften soften that smoke flavor. And of course, we all know chicken wings belong on smokers and grills, so I'm not going to make a big mess and and do that. So I would say for this first test batch, cauliflower, great. Uh, Brussels sprouts, good, needs a little work, uh, but all in all, great success.
hope you had fun watching this uh, and love to hear your comments uh, or any suggestions of what you might think we should do on the smoker. Doesn't have to be uh, hot smoke, we could do some cold smoke. We might be running a frozen cheesecake on a cold smoker just to see if we can take a pre-cooked cheesecake and uh, uh, put a little smoke in it and see if it tastes good. But that, that might be episode number two. So thank you. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, and uh, follow us and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.